Hi everyone, last time we, you joined us here at Sportfish Reading we were talking about getting started early season. Now we're actually going to do some fishing and uh, see if we can get one of the early season fish out of this lake here. It's been fishing really well, there's a few anglers here catching fish as we're talking. So uh, let's see if we can get one ourselves. Yeah. So what I'm using here is the latest offering from Sage, the new Sage 1. It's a 9.5 foot scent weight, absolutely peachy rod. Loads of feedback when casting. Very powerful blank as well. Um, recovery is so quick on it, so when you're casting there's no tip bounce. And when you, get, you eliminate that bounce from the, the rod tip, you eliminate any slack in the cast. And obviously, any of you know out there about casting, any slack in your cast is an absolute killer. So being able to eliminate that bit of slack in your cast and keeping everything under tension and keeping it nice and tight, makes life an awful lot easier. As you see, just from a little roll cast, we're back in, a couple of false casts, and we're back out of fishing again. So I'm spending less time casting and more time fishing. And with the best one in the world, you can't catch a fish with your fly in the air. So early season, we're not necessarily going to fish the fly really quickly. We do want to mess it around a little bit, so the odd short strip, long pull, figure of eight, slow, fast, just get a bit of life into that fly, just to try and get those fish just to switch on a little bit more. And just as I'm coming to the end of the cast, rather than picking up straight away, I'm going to start to lift that rod up. I'm still fishing that fly. Fly's still moving. So like that last fish, it just took it right at the last. I saw it take the fly. That fly's still fishing, still fishing, into a roll cast, and I'm straight back out fishing again. It's moving around, as we spoke about last time, that fan effect. So we're covering the water as we go. Rather than casting in the same spot over and over again, just giving us a little bit of variation. Always trying to cover fresh water. And if we were fishing in this spot here and we hadn't had anything for maybe 10, 15 minutes, it's always worth a move. The problem with a lot of people have on still waters is they get lead boots. They park themselves up in a spot in the morning and they spend all day in the same spot and we're in again. Real good, solid thump there. Cat's whiskers doing its damage as usual. Real good heavy thump. Took that like a freight train. And she goes, another nice fish. Fly out. Another nice rainbow. Back she goes. It's not a bad fish at all, is it? Lovely full tail, good overwintered fish. Absolute beauty. Just, and away she goes. It's as easy as that. 